Hello art friends! Welcome back to another video. Today we are working on a patriotic set of nails. If you live in the United States like I do, the 4th of July is a really big deal. It generally um, is the start of summer and is, uh, you know, full of events and festivities and lots of fun. So it is also um, close around the time of my birthday. So I especially love the 4th of July. I am using today Kelly Marissa's collab. I believe it is called Rainy something. Diamond Rain is what it is called. And I am also using China Glaze's Ruby Pumps. So this is a set on polished nails as opposed to nail uh, gel art. We are going to be using some stamping. I am also doing some negative space on these nails. It's a lot of uh, different things going on, but they all work together. Hopefully you will see that by the end. I know you saw a sneak peek of what they will look like at the beginning. So I used three different plates for this because I couldn't find everything I wanted in one plate. So the first plate I used is Kelly Marissa's uh, collaboration plate, which is a galactic or galaxy plate. I forget what the actual name of it is, but I did link or not link, but put the description in the, the description bar of which one this is. I believe it's um, might be BMXL. 27, uh, 213, I believe is what it is. And then I'm also going to be using two other maniology plates. These are all maniology plates that I am using, I believe. I'm 90% sure about that. This is the second maniology plate. You can see this one has a lot of really great fireworks on it. And I'm going to clean up my stamper in between each thing. Just make sure that I have only what I want. You'll notice in this particular set, I do pick and choose parts of stamps, but don't necessarily use the whole stamp. Um, and that had a lot to do with the placement and where I wanted to see that placement sit on the nail. This is actually a really easy set to do. So also very quick if you're working at the salon and want some fabulous art that is not going to take a ton of time when you're working with clients. So uh, it's a great upsell, but also, you know, comes out beautifully for your clients and yourself. I obviously incorporated the red, white, and blue of our flag. And I'm just adding a few extra stars here. The really nice thing about uh, stamps like that one that I'm doing and pulling off of is that things aren't so close together that you can quickly pull away just parts and pieces. Next, I'm going to go in with some red because I want to work into the uh, red into the nail plate. So I'm grabbing a firework that I'm going to use in the corner. And I'm going to kitty corner it, so I'm angling it just so. It's hard to see uh, on this particular part of the video, but you do get to see it in the photos. I loved the way the snail came out. I was really, really happy with this. I did decide to go back over and grab that full spinning wheel kind of looking. Reminded me of a, uh, a wind wheel or what do they call them? Whirly gigs? A whirly gig. And I'm going to layer that over the white that I have there and then also press it down onto the blue. So it kind of ties that whole nail together. This one did pop up just a little bit. It's a foil gel, uh, a foil stamping paint, excuse me. And that paint, that particular red is absolutely gorgeous, but it dries in seconds. So I just tapped it down a little bit just to stick it to the nail. Now I'm going in with a similar one. This is also one of those metallics, but it's a blue. These are all maniology uh, paints today that I'm using for stamping. I'm going to swipe only once. The reason for that is because of that. I want to get kind of that blended firework look, you know, like when they explode in the sky. And so I want to make sure that I don't over blend the colors. And that one came out beautiful. It's actually one of my favorite nails in this particular set. And again, as you can see, super simple. This, I think I switched to the Manology Plate MD42. You can see it down below in there on the plate. I do try to put all of this in the description. So in case you are looking for it, uh, it is there. 
Again, each of these nails, as you can see, is only taking me about 30 seconds to two minutes to put together. So it's not a huge time uh, constraint to make this look, but it looks complex when you look at the full set. So it's kind of a good bang for your buck. This is part of a series. So I am going to do three sets of nails that are all patriotic in nature, and I will release them all in June so that you have them before the 4th of July. So you can have some inspiration for your own clients and for their nails, or your own nails, if that's the case. I didn't like the pickup on that one, so I'm going to go back in again. So what I did off screen, which you didn't see, was I just grabbed a piece of scotch tape, but that's how I cleaned my stamper, and just cleaned it off because it didn't come out clean. And there we go. I think in a second I'm going to work some white in there too, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. I do. Cause I had to switch plates again. Okay. So I'm back to the MD 42. I'm trying to decide on which one of those fireworks I really want. I wanted something that was kind of going to go with that one that's in the corner of the blue nail, the blue, blue nail with the red pinwheel on it. And there we go. So it looks like it's actually exploding right over the top of that French line, which was really cool looking once it was done. I was really excited about that. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with the uh, Maniology No Smudge Top Coat. I like this one when I'm stamping over polish because it tends not to drag the design so you don't your colors don't end up running into each other. You do have to be careful though to float your top coat over the top. Look for the next sneak peek at the end of this video of the next set of St. Patriotic ones, and there's our finished set. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. It helps.